CIT stands for Communications Information Technology Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was originally a IT focused or really IT company focused organization. Um, but now we're broadened out quite a bit and we have a lot of companies in, involved that aren't IT at their core, but they understand that IT is important in order to do business and sat satisfy customers. So companies like Bank Plus, Parkway Properties, uh, others like that, uh, mm -hmm. Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, of course, that's one of the largest IT installations in the state of Mississippi at, at mm -hmm. Saks Fifth Avenue. So what we really do is we try to help IT leaders um, focus on what's important to them. Uh, and that includes you know, both the technology areas, but it's a lot more than that. Or it includes in technology areas, but it's a lot more than that. Um, you know, a CIO's job years ago was all about bits and bytes and how to make this machine work with that software and so on. And it's so much more than that now. It's really a CIO's job. It's really about business and customer satisfaction and achieving returns on investment. And, and so we help them in those areas as well. So we have presentations um, about every other month, um, actually eight times a year. Uh, and uh, we bring in different speakers from all over the country. For instance, we had uh, a CIO of IBM's uh, one of IBM's uh, software-oriented architecture groups out of San Francisco come in to talk about the changing role of CIOs. Um, next month, we'll have Joel Baumgar um, on the 29th of July uh, talking about how Baumgar uses technology to help achieve productivity and remain uh, a corporate culture that's on a first-name basis. Actually, and actually moved from... Uh, uh, Jackson or moved to Jackson from Washington DC had worked for MCI there and came to work for Skytel and was involved in Skytel was launching their two-way messaging which it's funny when you look back at time that time people were saying that um, people didn't really want text messaging well, almost we were maybe even a little bit before our time but anyway um, I've been involved in technology since that time and, and before and uh, just really like feel like it's an important Thing for Mississippi to be uh, involved in. And uh, here in Mississippi today, for instance, we have about 50,000 people, excuse me, about 10,000 people working in the IT industry in Mississippi. Um, and the average wage is over $54,000 a year. That's growing um, at a very rapid rate. And we think that that's, you know, really important for, for Mississippi. I've been working with CIT for um, well, I actually was on the board for a couple of years and left the board about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and have started working as the executive director uh, for CIT um, to help organize the change that we've made, which is really, again, to focus on companies like the Parkway Properties and uh, Saks Fifth Avenues of the world that aren't necessarily IT at their core, but IT is important to their business.